Hi there. I just wanted to make a video on how I understand how um, energy flows in universe and in us and kind of how it's all connected and how it gets blocked. So this is this is my understanding how it all works. So let me just explain to you what I, I was trying to explain in this um, drawing. So this is this is me, for example, right? And I called it universe. So this is you. And then, um, you know, around it, I create I created a universe. So universe, or all that is. So this is, this is all together, we are part of it. We are part of the universe. So we coexist. So the energy flows. When your when your energy system, your chakra system is a clear and healthy, the energy flows through you, the energy of the universe flows through you. You are together with the universe, you are aligned with that universal flow of energy, which is the seven colors, the rainbow colors, the light, right? And when the when the chakras they get blocked, you know how I like I grade them out. So you're blocked. You're blocked from the flow of energy. You're not together. You're not flowing with the flow of energy. So you're not really living your life fully, living your fullest potential. So how it gets blocked is, let's see, what did I say here? So this is your false self, which is ego, right? So it's a protective mechanism. That's how you separate yourself from others. And this is your true self, your soul. This is that infinite knowledge that you know you're actually together. You're part of everything. You see how it's just all, it, you know, you blend into the universe because you're one with the universe. And here you're separating yourself. So let's see, what did I do here? So I said, you know, we have an emotional body and we have a mental body and we have more bodies. I'm just for the, for the educational purposes, I'm trying to explain uh, how I understood it for myself. So let's say our emotional body, you know, was hurt at some point in the childhood and we now have that, um, that emotion stuck in that body. Let's say uh, fear, uh, you know, maybe you were abandoned and now, um, you know, you have the fear of abandonment or victim, uh, you know, you were victimized. So now you feel like a victim. So all these low energy, they're like low vibration because you, you, you're energy but these are the low vibrational emotions that are st stuck in you and they're blocking you from this flow so that's why it's important to get that stuff out of your system you have to release those emotions by recognizing them that you have them and then you get them out of your system by writing them in the journal by speaking them out by you know making peace with those emotions by feeling them and releasing them so you do those exercises the shadow work and for the mental body you know these are these untruths the belief systems that you formed because maybe somebody was telling you oh you're useless you're useless you're worthless over and over again maybe somewhere in your childhood and you started believing this so this is an untruth about you but you started believing it so it's stuck in your mental body so let's see what did I say I'm not lovable I'm not good enough I'm worthless so you you started believing this this is that untruth the belief system that you're holding on to so you got to get that out of the body and how do you do that because you you go inward you figure out why you're thinking that that thought and then you just weed it out you replace it with a positive positive thought pattern which is the positive affirmation so that's why it's so important to do those and you do that also by writing them in the journal or by saying them to yourself. Like I used to do, I would, in the morning, I would wake up, put my hands on my chest, both hands, and I would just like 21 times, I would say, I am lovable, I'm lovable, I'm good enough, I'm good enough. I would just repeat it. So then, even though I didn't believe it, but then it slowly made its way into my mental body and then I accepted it. So, you know, you have to do the work. You have to figure out why you're feeling the feelings you're feeling, why you're thinking the, th the thoughts you're thinking, and then replace them. So you see, so here it flows. Here, you're open to all of this, to all of the abundance. 
so you're you know you feel joy you feel love you're calm you're happy and the thought pattern is the positive one i'm lovable i'm good enough i'm enough the way i am that's you accepting yourself i'm worthy of love so these are all positive thought patterns and um, that's pretty much how you you do it you do it daily a little bit and if you cannot do it daily that's okay too just do it whenever you remember but it's it's just it's a, it's practice practice makes perfect uh, you don't beat yourself up that you didn't do it or like you know you failed at something it's okay everything is okay remember acceptance forgiveness and understanding that you you don't heal by suppressing this this is part of you so the main thing to understand is that this is how it all is it's together there's dark and there's light there's ego and there's true there's negative and positive that's how the whole universe is created it's in harmony it's a divine divine harmony of darkness and light so you have to accept your darkness you have to accept that you do have fears and anger and hate that's part of you but you transcend it by understanding it by recognizing it in you and just accepting it that it's there and understanding you know why why it's doing the thing it's doing and then it's no longer you know it's no longer driving your life you you get it out of your subconscious and that's no longer a driver of your life you have to recognize it you have to meet your shadow you have to do your shadow work it is not pretty it's ugly it's painful it's hurtful because you have to dig deep but nobody else is going to do this for you only you can do this because you are the master of your universe you you only you you reach out to people who have done it who know how to do it because you know you have your questions and they guide you like what i'm trying to do now is because i i made that full circle and i came out on the other side i made my way back to light so this is how i did it and that that's how it helped me just understanding how it's all together it's part of me you do have darkness accept your darkness accept your shadow it's all these suppressed emotions feelings fears negative thoughts it's suppressed so you cannot heal it by closing your eyes that you know it doesn't exist in you it does recognize it that's all it wants it it wants to be heard and understood and accepted and that's how you transcend it it you transcend it because then it's no longer you know it's no longer paralyzing you you know it's there but you know that you're not gonna feed that part of you right you accept it but you work on the raising your vibration you you work on getting into the higher vibrational state together with the universe so all the chakras light up the energy is flowing through you you're removing those layers of low vibration the thick thick walls that are built around you you're opening up to this universal energy flow you're aligning with the universe because that's who you truly are you are a universe a magnificent beautiful unique divine universe and it you know it's it's work it's inner work you got to do the work a little bit at a time daily practice just come up with a daily spiritual practice i had a journal i would write you know whenever let's say i exploded and i, I made a mistake then I, you know if i recognize it at the time if i was already there i would apologize and then when i come home i would write in the journal i did this why did i do that when was the first time i felt that emotion and dig 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 find that core wound and you know then understand it and release it and release it and release it and then you will know that you healed it when the same situation happens you're no longer triggered that's when you know you healed it that's just you know that's what it is daily practice makes perfect so blessings on your healing journey i hope it made sense